The second problem is it leads to worshipping a different God than the one Jesus worshipped. Now that's a big problem. We're Christians because we are followers of who? Christ. We get the name of Christians from Christ. Now the least you can do is worship the same God that Jesus worshipped, right? We already that we saw that first century Jews, including Jesus, believed that God is one being, it's the Father. Just before his ascension, Jesus told Mary, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So who's the God of Jesus? It's the Father, that's what he said. While on the cross, Jesus prayed and he said, Eli, Eli, lama sabashtani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? While in heaven, in Revelation 3 we read, Jesus speaking, he says, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New, Jer New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. While he was dying on the cross, he acknowledged that the Father is his God. When he was a resurrected in glorified body, he acknowledged that the Father is his God. When he went to heaven, he's in heaven now, he acknowledged that the Father is his God. So who is the God of Jesus? Who's the God that Jesus worshipped? I find it that it is a problem the Trinity introduces to us as Christians that it leads us to worship a different God than the one that Christ, Jesus, worshipped. Jesus worshipped one God, the Father. Christians today worship a one God who is made of three persons, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. That's a different God than the one Jesus worshipped. That's a problem. Don't you think so? so